In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Slack using Cisco Packet Tracer. Before moving into the practical, let's learn some theory about Slack. Slack stands for Stateless Address Auto Configuration, which is already quite self explanatory, but still to explain it, it means that whenever there is a network where hosts are connected in the IPv6 addresses, the IPv6 addresses are automatically configured in the host, and we don't even need any server for that, like a DHCP server is not needed to automatically configure the IP addresses on IPv6 addresses on the network hosts. It is also it is called stateless because no server keeps a track of the IP addresses. There is no server which is actually calculating that what are the IP addresses that are already given to the host or what are the IP addresses that are left. So now the question might arise that how does the case of duplicate addresses and the conflicts resolve? So Slack works in this particular flow that it generates an ad, uh, a gen it generates an address and then the host runs a duplicate address detection and after this mechanism it gets to know that whether the address that it had generated is it a unique address or is it a duplicate one if it is duplicate then again it generates a new address and then repeats the process of duplicate address detection so that's how slack works so now let's build a network to understand slack in a practical approach here we are ready with our Cisco Packet Tracer software. We have a basic network with two PCs, a switch and a router. And now we are going to check the IP configuration of the PCs. So here we can see that in the IPv4 configuration, we don't have any configuration set. And even in IPv6, we have not set anything. We just need to turn this auto config on. And we can also compare here that in IPv4, we don't have any settings for auto config. So we cannot, IPv4 cannot, uh, uh, auto config the IP addresses without DHCP. Next, we can go to the other PC and repeat the same steps. You just need to set IPv6 configuration to auto. And once this is done, the last step would be to configure the router. So the first step is to go and check if the Ethernet port is on. So I'll just enable the fast Ethernet port. And in fact, before that, a good idea would be to start with the commands. The first command that we need to execute is IPv6 unicast routing. Once this is done, we need to choose the interface. So we can do it from either side. We can either do it from here or from the CLI. Once we have chosen the interface, now we need to enable IPv6 in this interface. Then we can add this IP address so the IP address is added. So now we can just check whether our configuration is going properly or not. So we will just write this command show IPv6 interface fast Ethernet Low, um, low by zero and you can see the configuration is here it shows the group addresses of the joined entries here and now we go and check the IP configuration in our systems so these two hosts will be soon getting the IPv6 address so we'll just wait for that time or I'll just skip that part so now we can see the configurations are ready here we have found the IP address or PC1 for the PC1 and PC2 and for that we did not have to do any configuration or any server it just happened with Slack and that's the beauty of IPv6 Slack and now we can test the working of it by using ping commands so let's open up command prompt here so here we have so let's try the ping command so we have given the IP address here and now let's ping and you can see we are getting the reply from the other device. That means the IP configuration is set and it was done automatically using Slack. So this was for this tutorial guys. Thank you for watching.